Okay. Killer bees. Um, bye. Nilbru. Oh, I remember this guy from the other game. Description. The found footage from the Killer Bees cast has been leaked online. You can witness what the official hits for all these years, strictly 18 plus. Oh, adult content. Oh, finally some real, uh, real game for real gamers like me. This game contains disturbing images and gore. This demo is made for the Madvent Demo Disc 2020. Bees. Killer Bees. Um, those are boobs? I'm sorry, what have sex dolls got to do with bees? Difficulty. Okay, let's play on easy, honestly. Fuck you. Um, yeah, it's a PS1 game for PS1. What VHS? Shut the fuck up. Tape 1. Options. That's it, tape 1. Let's play tape 1. <laughs> um... <laughs> Yeah, okay, good thing I chose easy. Um, okay. okay, stamina, life bar, and magic bar, I'm gonna guess. Sorry, I'm not a weeb, you know? I have some self respect. Not even subtitles? A gun. Oh, is that the amount of bullets I have? The bullets are the are form of liquid. What am I shooting honey out? I mean, yeah, the bees look like wasps, I know, but still. How would I even shoot a bee with this gun? Is it a BB gun? Oh. What, the bees activated the lights? The bees are like, we can't see. We have to activate lights just in case. Oh, I have a flashlight. Well, I mean, loose the fish of a flashlight. More like a flashlight. Lola mouth ruffle. So even the bees are into Resident Evil, is that what happened? The entire bees infested the house and they were like, we need to Resident Evil this. Because we're big fans of Resident Evil. Why is there alcohol bottle everywhere? The bees are drunk. Um, Ammo! That barely filled up anything. Oh, wait, am I gonna fight giant sexy bees? Like inside, you know, uh, sex dolls? So, so giant bees? Had babies in a tub, and then they infest sex dolls. Okay. That's a lot of ammo. I hear you, you sexy bee. Where are you? Oh, that's it. What, am I shooting honey at them? Get sweet, bitch! <laughs> I'm sorry. Am I playing like a five-year-old boy? Ah. 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 What's the stomping for? What the bees? The bees make two feet and they start stomping to scare me. Gotcha. That's a skull. Okay, that's not a secret. Hopefully that one bullet is gonna fuck me over. Oh, look, red light is scary, yo. Do you think there are like, like 50 bees sitting on the door trying to get out? Jokes on them, they're not Ant-Man. Okay, let's get hit again. And go, ah! ah! Okay, so this is America, right? Where a little kid can shoot some bees with a gun. Is this why bees went extinct? Uh, because we kept on shooting them with guns? With our honey guns? Also, why does this game have a stamina? Okay, I know the strategy. Keep that there so I can recover my... You're too sweet for this world. Oh, my bullets have a travel fall off. See, all skill, all prepared. Oh, that's it. Remember, each bullet is like, what, one dollar? Uh, so I'm shooting bees with like two dollars per bee. Bee per, oh no, the bees act. <laughs> do you think, do you think? <laughs> you think one bee just came in, activated the TV and ran away. He's like, quick, distract the American. Get out of here! Oh no, it don't work. It don't work, you don't get distracted. Why? Because there's a little boy. 
Little boys are known for one thing, killing bees with a gun. <laughs> okay. What exactly happened? Ba -da -ba -bum. Oh no, the evil nano molecules being us up. Yeah, I know entire shotgun for a bee. What is this? Is this where all the bees are growing? No. Oh, these are these are ghost bees. They're being summoned from a different dimension. What? Oh, they didn't hit me. Sorry, I thought I was gonna go. Ah! A tape. Yeah, I got the tape. Uh, sorry, I had to click on the tape three times, you know, I'm American, I don't understand how tapes work, I only know DVDs and, uh... Sorry, not even DVDs, I just know cable. Weren't you ringing? Huh? Okay, I can't have the graphics- Oh, it's Devil May Cry! You kill enough bees, the door open for you! Then, 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 then... A meat. How much do you bet there was Canadian bacon, you know, that stupid giant bacon covered in maple syrup or glazed? <laughs> glazed bacon with honey. <laughs> That's a lot of shotgun rounds, man. Take it easy. What's gonna happen? I'm gonna fight- Um, is... <gasps> The beekeeper! <gasps> oh no. Oh no. I'm in the hive. Hive mine. Show yourselves, bee! To be or not to be. Okay, fuck you. To be or not to be! A shot! Ah! Ah! Ow! 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 Ouchie! Um, are you sure? Oh. This is for you. What gun is for what? Okay, it's all for you, I guess? No, never mind, this is- Ah! Ah! Get the beat on, bitch! Go extinct! Are you sending your bees at me? Police lines are not cross- <gasps> The police were on it. Did that thing open? No. What, they didn't kill enough bees? To be or not to be? To be or not to be? How many bees do I need to kill? What is this, the wave section with bees? Yeah, send out more bees. Come on, bee man. <laughs> it's like Dr. Wiley. Get out my bees. Ten, take down Mega Boy. Run upstairs, run upstairs. Oh no. Are you motherfucker? I'm sorry. Did you grow something? Fuck you, bee man. Okay, now I can break through. There's one giant slice of salami man out there. Come on, give it to me. Okay, what, I wait here? <laughs> Let's go, first try, one life, one turn. Yeah? I see you, B-man. Don't so- don't be so down. Come on, don't be like this. Come on, you can be better. <laughs> Is this gonna be or not to be? Are you gonna be like this? Don't be like that. Come on, honey. Don't be such a hexagon. Um... Okay, don't hive me. I don't want to break out in hives. Oh! Oh, full salami. Mm. What, the bees didn't respect this one? Can I kill you? Okay, what ammo is what, honestly? I don't understand that part. Oh, if I'm full, I can't pick it up anyways. It's a good game. <laughs> no, fuck you. It's a bad game. Ah! Here, take this, B-man. Oh, no, he's immune. This is a family-friendly game. So what? All the beekeepers turned on each other? That's the lore here? The, the Great War of the Bees of 1992? I'm not a killer! I'm not a killer! Well, I can't shoot you because you're not a killer. So if you're a killer, I could shoot you. Mm. I'm definitely not American. Maybe Australian? Did you just blow up? Oh no, okay. 
Oh, the beekeepers were trying to keep that back the bees from like going to earth. But they failed. Are you a killer? Oh, I'm not a killer. Me, I'm not a killer. I'm a good boy. A good five-year-old boy. Ah, but Jesus Christ. Okay, maybe I need to be a killer. Just... Why do I sound such a child, man? Uh. Okay, are you sure I'm not a killer? Maybe I should learn how to be a killer. Um. Help, this game is very unfair. This game is unfair. This game is unfair. This game is unfair. T please be a killer. I ran out of bullets. I can't be a killer anymore. This game is unfair. This game is unfair. This game is unfair. Unfair gameplay. Reported. I think I need to kill three more stacks of bees. Oh, it's on a scale of zero to zero. How fair is this game? Come on, kid, recover your stamina. Um, what are the orbs for? Are you trying? I'm sorry. Oh, I'm a kid. I'm sorry, if I get touched once while they have the skulls, they immediately kill me? What is this Final Fantasy? Okay, Killer Bees. By Nobu. Nobu? Neurobu? I don't know why there's sex dolls, honestly, in, in the, in the cutscene, the starting cutscene. So they don't have this, this game on their Ichio page, but they do have it on their... Well, not on their, they have nothing. They have it in the Madment game. Well, not Madman, demo game. No, that's pretty much it. Um, that's pretty much it, okay. Um, well, that was pretty much it. Um, um, I think you're supposed to die by the skull bees and then something else was supposed to load. They didn't do it for me, so I don't know. Uh, but yeah. Thank you so much for that experience. I'm not exactly sure what you're trying to sell me. This wasn't a demo again, this was just a short game. Uh, with, with bee skulls. So, thank you so much. Um, Erasure. Description. Working alone at night, only the hum of dozens deep simulations pause to keep you company. Something is waiting for you. Credits by Sam Dick. <laughs> uh, what a nice dick, bro. Nice dick, bro. Let's go. I like a bro with a nice dick. Made with unity. Hold on, I need to alt tab to fix the game? Um, just... <laughs> okay, alt tab and it works. Uh, scroll to cycle, very interesting decision, and left click to select. So what this game is teaching me is that photosensitivity warning. Some people may find hard to find certain visuals harming to their eyeballs. Oh, I can definitely agree about that. Grab. Um. Um, am I making Bart Simpson reanimate? Align vectors. Did I align them?
Did I make a cat? Oh, it's a dog! Thanks for facing my dog. It always gets moody when one of you has to do something. That or it doesn't like what I've done to it. Whatever. <laughs> you can go now. <laughs> Leave. <laughs> we aren't even... Um... <laughs> We aren't even past the first game and already confused. Um, I can't move in my chair. Okay. Um, what's up? Um, is this the new dead space? User deceased, F8. User abusing safety protocols, F14. Okay, I remember to find F14 somewhere. Uh, what's a safety protocol? How do you safe... S uh, what is safe and what isn't? Exit. Can I run? I can go home in a few more hours. So what, I'm just gonna stay in the bathroom or the coffee place? Okay. In the far future. Oh, I see. Oh, I understand the story. This is metaverse. D d like, like, uh, secretly, with my eyes, I see good stuff around me. This is a nice office, a lot of people walking around, nice walls, fancy elevators. But in real life, this is how it is. This elevator is fucking dirty, man. In the far future, nobody can take off their glasses. Okay. Um, is that a hole I can... Is this a sequel or prequel to that movie with Chris Pratt where he like uh, in space where he gets the woman awoken from the from the thing? So when you said so when you said my eyes are gonna get attacked, you literally meant my eyes were gonna get attacked with piss yellow, right? Um. Okay, um... Reset. Disconnect, defrag. Buffer empty. Okay, let's reset the simulation. Let's... Disconnect it. Defrag it, no. Let's disconnect you. Let's defrag you, no. Bioreclamation. Discombobulate? Oh, okay. I'm sorry, what was the game's name? I already forgot. Maybe I can call- Oh, right, Erasure or something. Uh, are there, like, just people sleeping in there in the far future and I'm, like, their janitor? I take care of their sleeping bodies? Okay, what did I do with that one- They start hacking people's brains or something because someone asked me to make their dog and then they were, like, get lost. Instead of I have no mouth and my scream, this is... This is... I have no eyes and I can't see. Clear the green door, right? It's different. Clear this door because it's different. Um, this one is in a prison cell. I don't think you'd run any, anywhere anyway, so you know. I guess I'll connect you. Okay, I'm connecting. Am I gonna fix your cat this time or your dog? Um, okay. User declined link find user okay climb if he declined me then how am I inside oh because I'm the the <laughs> uh, get the fuck out of my head if I want to feel the limit in here I can do that um 
Let's disconnect you. Let's defrag you. Are are you Jojo posing on me? Um. D delete. Defrag. Delete. Um. You're a wage slave. So <laughs> you feel that way? Um. No. Don't connect. Disconnect the neural interface. No, I guess I can't. Safety on. There, I safetyized it. No? Oh, I'm back in the Final Fantasy. Um... Okay. What are these, my lives? Before I fight the criminal inside his brain cells? Um, okay, disconnect. Defrag. I see you. Reset. Disconnect. Biocremation. I'm entering the simulation. There, I simulized. Um, I'm just floating off to space. Okay, no. Um, what am I connecting through the little tiny door? Oh, I became better looking. Unable to connect to user. Find user. Maybe they don't want to be found. Um, this is too early for me, honestly. For th these games are too early any day of the day. Even at midnight, they're too early. Um. <laughs> A lot of things are failing. Okay, there's two brains now. Um, let's join the eyeballs. Um, you? Um... <laughs> Never done acid before, but now you understand it! Okay, thank you so much, Sam Dick. Much appreciated. Um, thank you, I remember this. Until bl Big Light. Sorry, I thought it said Blight. Big Light. Until Big Light. A lot of people, actually, and I don't recognize any of them. All copyright materials belong to their respective owners. Hopefully there isn't a single asset in this game. A narrative adventure about mice, fat cats, and a never-ending quest for Cheda. I prefer Gouda, but you know. It's the middle of the night. It's the middle of no light. Sorry, no light, not light. No light, and you've just been rudely awakened by a landlord, demanding an extor extortion amount of rent. You don't have the Cheda to cover it, so you got You've gone into the nearby neighborhood in search of odd jobs to scrounge up crumbs. Oh, okay, we're animals. Wait, <laughs> animals pay rent? Uh, with how angry my landlord is, I don't think I want to confront them again without rent. Your landlord? Animals pay rent? What is this, Canada? Can I jump? No, you're just gonna glow your butt at me. Okay, I'm on the bad side of town. The hefty mouse behind the bar looks looks you up and down, their paw rapidly spinning a bolt of cloth inside a thimble. I think more like down instead of up, you know? Hmm, hi there. Haven't seen you around here before. 
Surely you don't just wander in from the trail. What if I did? Uh, I'd be fairly impressed. Not many a mouse is able to avoid these roving packs of feral beasts. Best skip to, to cordoned off zones where we know the fat cats are able to ensure our safety. Have you been out there? God, no. How do you know it's dangerous? I've been told as much. I don't go around questioning an entity as low knowing as a fat cat. Look, is there something you need? Got any crumbs? Ah, oh, just like what I like to hear. A mouse motivated to work. I mean, assuming you're looking for work for those crumbs, of course. Just give me them. Ha, <laughs> funny stuff, kid. You know how this world works, right? You want cheddar? You gotta make yourself useful. You don't want who anybody knows that. That's why they have the crumbs and you don't. You gotta pull yourself up by your whiskers and make yourself necessary for someone else. Someone else with cheddar. Now, you wanna make yourself useful or keep being a beggar? What's the job? Well, we have a bit of a roach problem in the cellar. You're quite huge. You'd know about it. <laughs> But you probably take a skilled sword mouse to fell one. So that rules you out. But I got something more your speed. A letter that needs to be delivered. Are you familiar with the nine lives? What's that? Really? Goddamn kid, you're stupid. It's the biggest chain owned by the fat cats. You've definitely seen one at some point. They're everywhere. At any rate, they're just one further down the path. That's where you're going. Take this letter and give it to the cashier. You're given a mysterious letter. They'll be the ones to pay you. Don't listen to any pleas they come up with. They're a rampant liar. Who are they? No one. Don't go poking and snouting things. Trust me. Just hand that over and you'll get something nice in return. Let me know what it's taken care of. Stay safe out there. But if they're paying me, you don't need to know, no? The new sequel to Bug's Life is amazing. You're that new mouse around here, right? The one that does whisker deliveries? I've seen you out there now and then doing deliveries just like me. Is that your side gig? Not quite. Ah, oh, my friend, there is no shame in it. Yuck. I'm a cog just like you. I know you're paying all too well. We're comrades out there. Everlasting chase for cheddar. It's so fruitless. I could use some help. What's up? I'm being evicted. No shit, me too. <laughs> Let's be friends. We're the car workers in employment. I hate that doll whisker, it's terrible. Just another dumb fat cat's initiative cooked up and following Huey trends. It paid the bills. Not enough, apparently. Oh, this is Canada. Oh, good to know. Not like you have much of a choice anyway. Hardly any jobs out there, much less anything, anyone hiring. Damned if you do, damned more if you don't. It's nice not having to work at one of those stupid shops like Nine Lives, but... I don't know how good that array is. Why well, doing day day out is sprint up and down the trail, handing richer mice food they can afford for scraps of crumbs off the top. I don't have to stop on Miss Awana, which is very good. But also, it's not okay have to get out there. No one's making me. <laughs> and no one cares about me out there. Slowly. Miss Comerdry. I tumbled the other week while I was running a delivery, fell down the hill side steep. He messed me up. There's some rocks on the way down. I had a hard time walking and the doc said told me it was gonna cost a good chunk of cheddar to fix me up. I don't have much stuff out of the way cuz I'm very making crumbs anyway, you know. You can't say you can't say without pittance. Plus after paying for the checkup I can barely afford to eat. And now I couldn't get to make more money cuz my job relies on me being with run over the place. Hey shit sandwich, let me tell you. I tried to reach out to Whisker and tell me no, I was working for you guys while this happened. Now I pulled myself up the trail and hobbled all the way to the end of my delivery still. May they help me for a cost. May feel like they vowed my work. I appreciate the due diligence that you got an order after that. Yeah. They told me I was the one responsible for me. So now here I am. Here's some crumbs for drinks. I saw a limp up down the trail. A few more crumbs for some minor drinks and I survive. Yeah. I don't feel like talking much. <laughs> oh, now you don't. Good for you. What, you talk yourself into depression? Because I was having a very hard... Why did I choose that voice? Fuck me. What, more families getting evicted? It looks like to the door. The shoe box apartments opening soon, located in the scenic outskirts. Luxurious, affordable price. Only 5,600 cheddar each cycle. You can enjoy a roomy six 
square inch in the hottest new craze micro burrows. Connect during the big light to fill out an application. Applicant calls the half cycles rent. Application no guarantee placement in complex. Fee is not refundable. Okay, did the did the author of this game have just a really bad time with stuff? Because yeah, I can agree that they have to be Canadian. This is you know just saying. Oh hey. What are you? Nine lives? Oh nine. Where did they find the what? They have just a giant battery in the background doing this? Oh, civilized animals. With light. They lean lazy on the counter of see young, obviously extremely bored. They don't seem to notice your approach. You wave your paw at them and they come too. Oh, uh, hi. Are you buying something? Um... What is this place? It's Nine Lies, one of the biggest, like, most prolific chain of stores serving mice needs. Given the needs can be satisfied by Meow Gregi, hell-bent on destroying mouse culture, whatever. Mouse culture? Yeah, but you gotta stay with passion, like, MOUSE CULTURE! There are things like define who are the members of a society, our histories, our creations, our rituals. It's a big melting pot that makes us who we are, the things we cherish that we find strange and uncivilized. Mice don't always carry pounds of cheddar around with them to afford basic needs like healthcare and food. We took care of each other, we had nothing separating us. We know that there is no help for us but from one another, that no pole will save us if we do not reach for out of pole. Oh, wow. If there is anything you get, uh, you get heated over, it's this. We don't have to live in a system where these dumbass cats rule over us. We live without them for centuries, just fine. And now we're all torn apart and pit against each other. It's sickening. They sigh and slouch against the counter. Maybe one day Mouse Cat will start to blame the right people. You know what humans did to rulers that didn't could stand any longer? They built guillotines. Anyway, do you need something? They are for you. They shift nervously, averting the guys from your own. Uh, what do you mean? The end of the mysterious letter. Uh, look, I don't have anywhere near enough crumbs. Not... Um... Just a messenger, just a messenger. Uh, sure, sure, but, um... First you, then who? What if they send someone actually threatening to my borough? I mean, my parents' borough, but, um... I mean, I live there too, just... Not with them, you know, cause they suck? Anyway, I don't think I can afford that. Oh, see, they work at a nice, comfortable job. They spout bullshit and then they can't do anything. Typical teenager. You gotta help me out, man. How? I'm broke. Well, it will keep your word to them. You're gonna have to help. Otherwise, you're in trouble too. I'd say it's definitely uh, your problem. They don't take kindly to people who can't accomplish what they need. I can't afford that tab. But I have a friend that I can, I think can help. How? Alright, alright. So you're gonna head out there, take a left. You should see a real small path down the grass. They'll take you to a cliff. Knowing them, they'll be on a old mouse staring at nothing out there. They know everything there is to know about the place. They know what to do about the barkeep. And they got a lot of questions about all of this, so I sure they, sure they can clue you in on what a mess this place is. Here, this is not explaining everything. Uh, just send it over. You're given the hastily scrolled note. A close up early and meet you over there when I'm done. We'll talk more about what to do. It's exciting! If you say so. It is, so that might just be the red letter that we've been waiting for, if you decide to help my friend. Anyway, I gotta start getting stuff put away here, so let's get caught up. Good luck. Okay, there's a toilet before I go? No. Just one toilet. So what, the world ended? The rats and mice took over? Is that the story? Cats as well? Did I go the right place? I mean, there isn't a right anywhere, there's just... Here? No, okay, linear path. Lie to me, Malx, you lie to me. Illusion of choice. Um, what is that, Las Vegas? I hope I don't see Dr. House. Well, hello there, squirt. What can I do for you? Um, uh, what you're doing? Oh, just reminiscing. This house is a somewhat of a recent development. Uh, if you pardon an old long whisker pun, 
It used to be forest up the cliffside, you know. I miss it occasionally, would you too, Squirt? You was such a heaven for a coin up there. How are you? I'm just an old mouse who settled down. No, one special, I assure you. Have a note for you. Oh, let me have a look. <laughs> Sorry, all the accents are over the place. Oh, that poor youngling. I suppose you have a lot of questions, don't you? What's going on here? A farce of monumental proportions, Squirt. A few lines have swindled us time and time again, but what's happening now is by far the worst swindle they've ever wrought. What about the kid? The squabble between the child and the barkeep is nothing compared to what the cats have their paws in. The barkeep is only the beginning, I assure you. Do you understand how a system of control can wrap its mealy... its mealy tail around the society of intelligent creatures? For the fat cat is a simple matter of disinformation, smoke screens, and silencing any squeaks of dissidence. Calm down, Hideo Kojima. <laughs> a concentrated effort set to establish complete utter control of how we perceive reality itself. They have set this pause to creating a hyper reality in which we find ourselves immersed in a world so dazzled in the wounded waters of the true and the untruth that lines between them are inexorably blurred. Wait until we can no longer see the water we swim in. After all, if we can't see what is or isn't real, how can we make any meaningful change or fight injustice? How do you ever know the problem within the system to begin with? And those who dare go against the grain, they'll find themselves quickly swapped down by the iron paw of totalitarianism. There's a reason now that last attempt to overthrow our fecal leaders is called the final rebellion. It was a testament of what reality will be as much as one of what was. We have lost our chance to turn the tide. What happened? Also, what's with the Ruski ask accent, comrade? Infiltration, undermining, turning against one another, creating insurmountable walls between us. External group to turn a hateful eye upon the stops from one focusing on the real internal issues, a dastardly plan to blind us all with our own hatred. The barkeeper just had a mouse who, fall, who fell, entranced by the siren song of the blame, a thought movement that placed all the hardship for mouse who squarely on the shoulders of non mice, excluding the felines, of course. Anger is far easier to harbor than love. The cats knew and exploited us to fool us. What are they talking about? I just want to go back to sleep. Tell me, when was the last time you saw a rat? Oh, see, all oh my kids literally socio-political commentary. Good for me. Never seen, never, never seen one. The disease for that, that there is all is for all things. But I'm sure you understand. Originally, this oak stood above all the wood here, a garden above the high tree line. The fat cats would have those they call lesser beings with cold calculation hanged from its branches. The tree of growth they called it, which shed the weight of their burden upon us as a society to achieve greater heights so that they'd have you believe. The bargain was the grim caretaker of this place, an ancient family home that they had themselves inherited. Eventually the oak turned in time into an inn, but they couldn't keep it afloat after the, the issuance of cheddar. But with the advent of the den, no soul wished to venture this far, especially not for a fee. As pretend law and cheddar, they turned to the oak over to the fat cats who then expressed a keen interest in its location. The rats weren't the only undesirables in the eye of the felines. One group is really enough to bear the burnt of such eye for long. Quickly, the oak became a hub of all sorts of enemies of the establishment. Any to earn their eye began to quietly disappear. But a while the mice brought here would simply be adjusted. No one was quite the same when they came back. It was until much later we realized the bastards were making them infertile. Okay, um... <laughs> well, I hope the, the game developer got it out of their system. With this game before they went back to university. Uh, that's why you have to stop them. Excuse me? I just want to sleep. The unknown entity here that's seen you skulking around trying not to know notice. You sleep in the night of the body like a spirit in the night. Going unnoticed into a skill you have honed well, it's something that could benefit all the mass kind tonight. It's enough you can slip into the oak skeleton top of the feline patriarch that hides at the top, suddenly lording over us. His gaze falters from the place where. Huh? 
Oh, he's still speaking. Sorry, my bad. His gaze never felt us from this place here. Your captain of tower controls it all without restraining a single paw. But, re- but they'd never see it coming. They saw make so modest in physical stature after all face it through the perfect mass for the job. We have all taken so much from us, it's time we take it back. We can burn the blight that has plagued this once great society. I just want to pay rent. Why not that kid? Ah, yeah, rent. That's a good one. Who do you think owns all the land around here? The landlord? No, they're just a patsy. They shake you down for your cheddar. They go between four when everything's getting ugly. The back is windfall from the fat cast was more than enough to snatch up the land the villains had no interest in. Your rent won't ever be a war again if we can take down the first step towards a new tomorrow. Why not that kid? You're too loud, too boisterous, too emotionally charged. They couldn't hold themselves together long enough to make it past the security in that oak. Not like you. <laughs> fine. <laughs> fine! My character just fine he gives up immediately. Fine. That's the spirit. First things first, we're gonna need some leverage to get the keys to a fortress of the oak. You may not do very much, but it's a nigh impregnable. You have an idea. Go back to the tin can bar, the barkeep always scurries off this time of night to meet with their superiors. Behind the bar on the far side from the entrance, you'll find a false bottom in the last drawer. There you'll find a bargaining chip. Drink to me and we can set in motion a new dawn for mankind. I'll head towards the bar shortly after you, I just need a few more moments first. After all, who knows how many more I'll have like this where hope springs eternal in a mouse chest. Best not to die at all mouse long in whisker and brittle in of bone that much. Remain steadfast, squirt. Okay. <laughs> Maybe... Um, are those concentration caps? Huh? <laughs> well, I hope the author of this game got laid a lot after this. Do you think he was trying to impress a furry? Well, I didn't expect to actually accept that. Sorry, I was eavesdropping. I finished closing the store and you two were so loud. <laughs> no, uh, the man was loud. I was just trying to sleep. <laughs> One day they're gonna interview the mouse and they're like, What made you start the revolution? I just wanted to sleep. At any rate, I think they're sending you after. Well, you'll see. I've glimpsed it before. It's beautiful. What is it? I don't want to spoil the surprise. I should probably get the hell out of here before the shit hits the fan. I think on the verge of King the Horn's Nest, I don't want to be around for it, writing up the collateral damage. So I guess... I hope this isn't goodbye, just farewell until I see you again in the big light. Hopefully we're both stand a little taller, as they might control of their own fates for the first time in a long time. By the way... I, uh... Shed a little top of tonight's profits when I was counting the till. I know, I know, you're toppling the meow gurky, but just in case you end up me pay your rent somehow. Don't die up there. I got 50 cheddar. Rise and grind, boys, rise and grind. Uh, you're still here, what's your problem? Meh, is a bit. I no. Oh. Okay. Do you think I'm saying another... Yeah. Another... Drink. From a pa. Um, while you're... Why are you back there? You said to bring up to speed on what you've learned about the Oki. I seem to not remember much of this anyway. Not sure how much of a thought the barkeep has in all this. They are... Won't believe you for guarding the rest of the tale. Is it mentioned the bargaining piece? The barfly eyes light up. There to the other side of the bar, open the drawer, move the false bottom, and set the object on the counter. The Lord of the Hundreds! A bungeon order fills in Austrians, a sentient every experience. You feel you sense a The barfly seems to sober up almost immediately. One of the few pieces of edible cheese left in the world! Anything else gets pounded to ch- into cheddar immediately by the cats! Bark the only one I know who still has a piece of contraband like this. They showed me it once when they were a little drunk. Get this some kind of family keepsake or something. Pot down to regenerate some mice. They really thought much of it until now. I guess this story does check out. If it doesn't let something like this slip by, them for so long without good reason. 
You ever wonder what she said like before he turned it into crumbs? Before we saw some trade material? Goods and labor? Was it just a simple plan for injured one another? Before subjugation? They trail off in the silence, drifting into their thoughts. A strange impulse fills you, not tell the words echo in your mind. What will it take from you and your look kind? Surely there'd be no harm in just... Let's try some. Oh really? Yeah, I guess you're already pissing me off, so... Might as well taste what our ancestors used to relish, hope he's aged well. Here. You're given a piece of Lord of the Hundreds. Eat it. As soon as it hits your tongue, you feel the room begin to shift. Um, maybe the cats were doing us a favor? I have a question. Why do horror games... Well, not horror games, spooky games in general. Why do they immediately go for this stuff? Like, like just psychedelic sequences? I, I don't understand. Like, this is how they fill out time, essentially. A strange sensation overtakes your form. Your corporeal body detaches from your spirit, the higher existence comes to focus, here within this moment. Your thoughts drift to currency. What use is it? In the stream of emotions, you feel peace. Your rent no longer looms overhead, demanding your subservience to a greater system that wishes not for your best interest, nor to care for you. The taste still lingers in your mouth, simply sublime. Eons of cheese eating wash over you, the natural state of things, your heritage. Why have we let them take it? What is blocking you out of the past? It's your reason to love nature. It's more of us than them. We outnumber them a million to one. Why is it that we have yet to converge, take out the upper hand? Why have we been so scared? They shouldn't take it from us any longer. They can't. Not today. Not anymore. They won't. Did you feel that? It's like something woke up within me. I don't think it's going to go back to sleep. You should, um, uh, take this and get out of here. You give, you're given the Lord of the Hundreds. Thank it. I think it's going to lay down. That was a lot. Good luck up there. I think I might be the only one who can change all of this. Mouse kind deserves to be free. Oh, let me guess. They're going to buy me off with good cheese or something. The kid is gone. Um. You! Fucking Mickey! I know what you stole from the bar. Who do you think you are? You're coming with me pissed off the wrong cat. Thank you for playing the demo of Until Big Lie. The application will now close. <laughs> um... Until big light. Okay, well, G2G, thank you so much, uh, Katrun, actually. That's their name, apparently, Katrun. Um, I guess this new game will never complete about, like, mice revolting against cats against the big cheese themselves. Um, Dread Delusion. Um, I don't know why this game gets recommended as a Souls-like whenever you search on Steam for things. So apparently it's made by Lovely Hellfate and Daniel Staley. Although, I'm confused why. Because I, I think actually Kira is making it alongside with the other people, so I'm, I don't know. In Clockwork God's Realm, where state-approved magic is regulated by machines, a dark corruption is taking hold. A small-scale open-world RPG. Well, I guess we're about to find out how good Dread Delusion is, because this game is meeting, getting made into a full game. Let's play. Um, yeah, high quality. I mean, it looks like the game should run on a toaster, honestly, or a tampon adjudicator. Start game. Um. Is, what is that? Are they confessing their sins instead of booze? So Warhammer. It's time for an avatar of Clockwork God. It makes abysmal sound as it connects to a network of machines and magic sp spreads throughout the city. You shift uneasy while you wait. You have no idea why you're here. Being called before an avatar in person is rarely a good thing. 
mind insight. The mechanic can't only shudders and grinds for some time, sputtering all in steam abruptly stops. Just to wonder if it's broken, the feather's stylus pops out and writes in large angular letters. Your subject number... Um... C is like millennia or something, I think? Century, like a hundred? But it's a very big number, I'm a very big number, confirm deny. Um, I don't know, am I? I'm on subject clit. Subject number clit, your date requires amending. State your vocation. You clear your toe, petty enforcer. Scribe, you have a literary permit? Uh, requires mental wit, requires physical brawn. So I'm playing like a cop? Let's go with brain power? Oh. Oh, I'm, I'm building my character. You explain how you told the tales of happiness each day, writing glorious visions of the sacred city in a rhyming verse. The best work is sent to the high-ranking cipher scribes to turn into intoxicating visions and set abroad. You do not mention how everything you write is a lie. How the city is dying with more corrupt citizens being dragged to their death each day. And they are not write the truth. The machine scrolls. Data amended. You have gained the delusion of mind. Subject number clit. You have been selected for sacramental duty. Your heart lurches, you read quickly, drawing ink. You do not know what sacrament duty is, only that those who are chosen never return. The sacramental duty is as follows, to find the source of the realm's pestilence, which, the purifi which purifies the soul and makes rotten the harvest. And to be forever bring an end to this corruption, failure will result in death by incineration, chances of success are calculating none. May the blessing of the clockwork god be with you, please exit via the portal. Um, uh, technically, actually, can I talk back? No, okay, I can talk back against the government. Um, okay, hi, Bloodborne, let's go. <laughs> no, please, I just started. I can't die on the first five minutes. Oh, that's my stamina bar. Oh, jumping doesn't take stamina. Wow. It took an indie game to understand that. Wow, good for indie games. Do I enter the coffins? Do I change my gender? What's this? I work for the government. I have to find money. You pilfered one coin. Oh, fantastic. Minimum wage here. What's your job? I work for the Magistrium government, being called clit every day. Hunting down people who don't believe in us. Even though, like, I don't believe in myself either. And I have to find coins around. Um, is this the new- is this sequel to Haunted Spooky Mansion? What do we have here? Another outcast from the city of shit and steel, no doubt. Um, tell him your god cast you away to die, I think? Tell me, has your god cast you away to die? As you recognize the absurdity of that damn place. Since your people came and built that abomination, this land has been slowly rotting. So I'll be keeping an eye on you, outcast. I'll be keeping an eye on you! Don't play smart with me! I know you're kind! Pretend to be a friend and then... The music is very oblivion. I like these new indie games, they just take inspiration from like... Sky- not Skyrim actually, very- very Oblivion music! But I'm not allowed inside of- what's that? Taking your sweet ass time, huh, Skellington? Um... Did you- fuck you! Fuck you, you gave me hope! You gave me hope! Um... There is two of you, isn't that? That's your sister. Um... Okay, wait, I'm confused. Am I in the area or did they kick me out? The town of Hollow. Hallow. My people were never allowed past this wall. We natives have been here since the world forging, but even as we started, this town kept us out. And in the end, ways people writhed in strange agonies, they locked it up. And discarded the key in the tower up there. Okay, go for a tower. What, I'm gonna get the key? Um, I'm the only one, I'm the chosen one to get the key. I portaled. Ah! Oh. Town Quarantine Key, key allowing entry into the town of Hollow. When the corruption reached the town, it was still shot and people left to perish. Divine Order of the Smaller Clit. Uh, Clive. 
The town of Halo is lost. You heard the screams rising from the streets terrified me, but now this silence is so much worse. It, how could it have been prevented if it punished more insubordination? Rewritten more lives with Cypher? Yes, surely the clockwork world god in his divine grace will judge our methods defective. I locked the quarantine door and sealed the last of them in. What more could I do? Don't ask me, I, I, I can't comment like I, we just started. I have no idea what our dynamics are. The tower sustained significant damage. Would you like to engage the automatic repairs? Upgrades are disabled in the demo. Please have a nice day. <laughs> okay, now I can say even less about this game. Um, hi, Skull. Saving is disabled in the demo. Okay, I see why people say this is Souls-like. I like how the elevators don't go up and down, they just teleport you. I mean, yeah, I guess that's how magic would work. Actually, that's how magic would work, wouldn't it? Can I jump Oblivion? No, I can't break into the city. So they say a time demo. Well, how, how time? 20 minutes? 30? The things are about to open. What, are you gonna attack me? I'll defend myself with the candelabra. Um, okay. Subject, Clit. Your presence here was predicted. Do you seek help with the sacramental duty? Yes. If this town, seek the cipher scrapped in his tower. Past the river, he will direct you further. Hospital, return the caster to Hollow by the cost of the affliction. With nothing equipped, select the control and right mouse button. No thanks. I know, bitch. I'm not gonna back out. I just arrived here. First day on the job is there's still coins in the back. Hi. Hello? Um, citizen? No. <laughs> also, it's a souls like because there's skeletons everywhere. Good to know. Oh, a key. Righteous key, a fancy looking key which might open an apartment nearby. When you say nearby, what exactly do you mean? How would I even know that's a writer's key? What is written on it? Or it's because every door needs a key, so you know, a 50-50 chance. It's just 50-50 chance. I found a key, and there's two doors here. I wonder where it belongs. What a genius. No wonder I got sent here. Um, yeah, people around here love their skeletons. Who doesn't love some potassium? Sorry, calcium. Push of health, resource health, but not affliction. Set that set as the selected item with Alt, then press R. The body is etched with a cipher. Victor, the divine order has been tipped off about my work. Some drunk fool reset my poem in the tavern, the one which just which just that the clockwork god is broken, and an order spy cut out his tongue right there. I heard he's been taken to the tower where they'll rewrite his mind with cipher magic. I've gathered my drafts. I'm going to burn them in the alley. Destroy everything I've ever given you. Destroy this too. And yet he didn't. This music! I know this music! Oh my god, it was from one of the Dread XP games. This lock could be broken. No, it's called climbing. But I mean... <laughs> What's the definition of climbing? My character can't really jump. Restore stamina. Alt. Oh, it, it, this changes it. Oh, that's what they mean by press button to change. Door requires a key. A lot of things are closed off. What is this demo? 20 minutes and that's it? Oh, an old house. Oh, you know what it means? Nothing. It literally could... They, they literally could be not... <laughs> <laughs> Just uh, This person definitely don't enjoy rain on wood. And I stole their coin. A skull with no job on, so he doesn't speak of course. Why else? Eleventh day of the month of the harvest, the divine order came again today demanding a yet steeper tithe. We can't afford this. Bribing that official for a literacy permit took the last of our coin. Misha, if you need money, think of Uncle Sagan, who we buried by the waterfall. So I'm just gonna go and steal. I'm just gonna go and steal. It looks like a body, I guess. Oh, the other side. Also, am I gonna just steal that family's bunny? I'm, I'm gonna assume she's dead, right? Or what? Do you think like 10 hours after, once I fail? Um. Jobon! 
Burn a small amount by waterfall, flee wherever Blanc is. Before the age. Wait, the age of what? Before this age of decay. I don't know if the icon is faster, it might not be. Another coin, another family, I'm stealing coins from. I'm um, in this 20 minute game. Uh, requires a key. No, it's called climbing. <laughs> I like how much of an asshole I am. I'm always like, you just climb. Um, I like to imagine like a 60 year old, uh, someone who's watching this video is like 60, 60 years old. They're like, no, you can't. Shut the fuck up with your climbing comments. You can't climb any of this. Fuck you. Uh, how long was that? Dread Delusion, explore three distinct zones. Collect and trade and upgrade, witness a shifting story with multiple endings and build powerful spell and potions. Um, okay, let's go back in. Because honestly, as far as, like, I'm gonna guess it's like 20 minutes. For 20 minutes, it honestly doesn't, like, it doesn't explain anything. Oh, is that why there's a stamina bar? So I don't speedrun the demo and finish the game? <laughs> Uh, you know, just in case people accidentally finish the demo. Uh, mod cake key. Can I, can I? Oh, you don't let me speedrun the game. Why wow, you're so smart, game developers. You're so smart. <laughs> I don't know what to say, honestly. There's so much. I, I, it's a demo that I didn't get to experience anything, so I can't say much. Um, okay, let's put the job on back. Can you talk to me now? Oh no. Um, you embrace the delusion of what grandeur? Um, oh, my level up. Okay, my mind? I have half a mind. You see, the reason I failed at the game was because I spent too long at admiring the flying boats in the sky. See, it's all my fault. I shouldn't have admired the boats. A friendly face, thank the clockwork god. Oh. <laughs> Hi, handsome. Yeah, friendly face, definitely. I was thrown by my airship when the things got on board. I was ordered by its grace, no less, to clear out the brigands, and the thief's currently squatting in the Hallow Town Tavern. Apparently, brigands and thieves have taken control of the tavern in Hallow. They are sending an array of spells looking from this chaos. Here, our spy found a way and killed them. Make merry with them. I don't care anymore. I failed. My data was erased from the esteemed archives in the end. It just says it's grace protected. Is this a tavern? It's... No, it doesn't look like a tavern. It looks like a... Outpost. As you clasp the door handle, your head throbs, your vision blurs, a bitter test raises. You're atop a hill with a sacred city in the distance. You know the Neuron... The Neuron star burns gold in a blue sky above a glittering multi of machine towers. Skyships ferry grain and goods overhead, propelled by faultless cipher magic. You recognize this as a realm of commission. A machine knight towers over you, the voice emanating from its sealed helmet is shrouded in static. State your business. It leans closer, you're not from the divine order, are you? Say that you're tasked with a sacramental duty. A sigh crackles through the air. You're not the first to have come here with that burden, nor the last I suspect. Its head tilts up towards a fake blue sky. I could help you, but I want something first. It points an armor finger at the tower in the distance. The tower with a bridge over the river, the Divine Order prison. My sister's scrap was taken there. Pause. She is surely dead, but the filtered extract she carries, I need it urgently. Your boy tingles as the illusion fades. The blue drains from the sky. The tower crumbles to dust, and the machine knight is gone. Um. Oh. Um, what is? Okay. I'm, I'm very surprised it took this many years for finally people to come out with those weird meaty stuff just... Just breaking everything down into, into meat soup. Just like, uh, I have a mouth and I can't scream essentially. I'm very surprised about that, very surprised. Um, the filtrate. Oh, I can without us with the sword and strength it'll be rake. Well, too bad the game doesn't have any of that still, huh? Divine Order by Clitius the Third. 
Detainee subject, junior cipher, position of literature, no permit, crushing, splitting of knees. Oh, is it you? Were you the guy? Well, the person in the tower, not the tower, the building over there that had to burn stuff but didn't? I must admit, for someone so hopeless, you're tenacious. But let me warn you, the strangeness that plagues the land is corruption. It is not what you think. Attacking with brute force is idiotic. If you want to help, there are other ways. Come find me, we can speak. Otherwise, you're on your own, and then you're truly fucked. <laughs> yeah, wow, no poetic language there, huh? Good for you, Samantha. What are you, Dark Souls quest? <laughs> Come find me. Sure, I'll find you. Um, in this vast land, I'll find you, sure. In before she's like literally at the start in the church. Legion takes a hold of you again. Yes, yes, now the machine. That's it. Come upstairs. We'll speak in person. Legion vanishes with a shiver, living in crimson sky. You pass in the tower and up its dark stairway. Entering the chamber, stepping into a turbulent ship. Give me the filtered extract. Don't touch anything, he mutters in the voice of Machine Knight, so much feebler now. Give the extract. He produced the device and his eyes wet on glee. That's it, put it there. You have gained two coins. Um, inquire about corruption. The corruption distorts everything it touches. I knew an associate to terrorize it was... It, it was our own cipher, paradoxes in the magic of the great city which damaged the very fabric of reality. But the associate was flayed and chopped into five pieces for blasphemy, a machine to have known such a heretic. According to the Clockwork God, the corruption has a single source. But the gate is tainted, it no longer answers to the living, only to corrupt souls that wander here. If you kill enough of those strange ghosts and collect their protoplasm, it might open for you. You'll find a sword in the courtyard. Use it to destroy the quarantine doors and explore the rest of the realm. Um, ask what he does. I'm a cipher scribe. I weave the sacred language of the world in these machines. I came here with such ideas. Machines that duplicate grain, illusion to educate the illiterate. We could have made kings of every peasant if only the order had ever approved my designs. Of course, the clockwork god is infinitely wise. I was ignorant to think such things would work. Surveying sensors and quarantine gates will keep the populace safe. Um, another failure. Leave. You have what you need. A blunt blade which has not seen combat. Very suited for chopping wood, then fighting. Press e, e or X to equip. Right click to attack? <laughs> Let me guess. The demo is gonna end in 3, 2, 1. Oh no, okay, it don't end. Excellent, I can use my giant cathedral sword to take down some ghosts in 3, 2, 1. 3, 2, 1. 3, 2, 1. 3, 2, 1. What are you gonna make me look bad, game? Hey, on god, go sorry. You're just minding your own business, I know, man, I know. I know. Please don't kill me. This is this is all I've left in this game. Please. Um, how did I heal? Or protoplasm, a pulsing mass of organic matter said to permit passage through the great grate. At times, you catch a glimpse of an eye or a finger. Hey, it looks just like you. Oh, the plot thickens. The game finishes in three to one. I hate time demos. My experience with Titan demos were exactly from the PlayStation 2 era. And they're all the worst ones. I think there was a... Yep, there we go! Open door, end game. My experience with... Time demos were on the PlayStation 2. Uh, I remember a racing game. I remember uh, a fighting game. I also remember Jack and Dexter. Um, they were timed games. And they, like they were pre like they were just terrible, you know. Because like for example, if you take, I think in Jack and Dexter, you could like travel between islands or take a boat or something. There were like like fake loading screens. It was bad because like the fake loading screens took time. Um, that's why I never liked uh, time demos. Uh, but speaking of exceptions, yeah, I think I'm almost done. Well, not really. Sorry, I lied. Um, Snowy Castle. Description. Navigate the castle grounds to re relight candles in this atmospheric exploration game. Credits. Created by Donut Cave. Oh, sorry. Donut Cove, I think. Okay, let's play in the snowy castle. Uh, or as I like to call it, the Canadian Parliament.
Um. Space to open. You finally wake. I'm so amazed. You sleep through all of this wind. Keeps me up at night. Are you cute? Um. Okay. I'm sorry, am I into cat boys? Why don't you go make yourself something really fast? Relight the candles around the castle. So why would I disable my thing? Is it like on a timer? Oh, hey. Um. What, I relight you? Wait, I come to you every time? Oh. Ah. Um, wait, what? Okay, if I'm over here... Um... Oh, oh, wait, you, you start getting fire if I'm close to a candle? Oh! Oh, okay. Oh, I thought I thought it to be like, you know, a puzzling game? Like, if there's wind, you have to disable, you have to like, hide, hide your fire. Otherwise, it burns out, stuff like that. No, you just keep it open. Um, you, you just use it to guide you, I guess? Does it? Oh, it even points in the direction. Uh, just like the lighter in, uh, God, not Stoker, what was this game called? Um, Metro, Metro. Metro, it's like when the lighter, you know, it like moves with the wind. But it's not moving with the wind, it like shows you where you need to go. Okay. Um. Again, I can't really say much about these demos, um. Uh, Oh, uh, this is up. Okay, that's actually smart. I, I, I like this. I mean, I don't mean I like the game or anything. I still don't know what the game is about. Um, but, but I like that uh, this thing exists. So if there's something on top of you, it shows on top of you. So you don't spend like two hours, you know, trying to find whatever is it that you need to find. And it's like on top of you and you need to reach that later. But yeah, this game is a 0 out of 10 because it lied to me. It said around the castle, like inside the castle. This is not inside the castle, this is outside the castle. Also, I don't know why the candles shot back at me. Oh no, a skull! Can I jump? No, I can't run, but I can walk. Oh, come on, it's behind the waterfalls. <laughs> finally! Holy shit! Holy shit! Holy shit, finally a game that has something hidden behind the waterfalls. Holy shit, man. Wait, I don't understand. How did we... How did we as a society... We live in a society, by the way, you know, everybody should know about that. How did we as a society decide sewer levels... In game, sewer levels is fine. We go back to the sewer levels. We decided sewer levels are fine? Uh, but... but games where... By the way, is there any danger? I don't think there is. How do we decide as a society that, you know, in games, sewer levels are fine, we should bring back sewer levels? Sometimes sewer levels are like literally the first level in the game nowadays. Yet at the same time, we decided waterfall, see the hidden secrets behind waterfalls is, is non, like, not good. It's a sin. Um, I'm gonna guess this is above me, right? Yeah, it's above me. Okay. Um... So, this doesn't feel like a demo, this feels like a small game they made for the funds. Which I can respect, honestly, I can respect that. Uh, but, um... Uh, this is a demo game? Like a demo bunch? Um... What, what, they, once again, they <laughs> Once again, they're out of demos! So they asked somebody to just make a game. They made a full game. They were like, here's a prototype of an idea I have for a game. What, the more candles I put on? The less light there is in the world. This is another sociopolitical commentary about classism, racism, and everything else. How do I get up there? Oh, hey! Oh! You spoil me, game, with your tactics. Okay, I got my butt clenched. My butt is clenched real good. I'm ready for jump scares. They're gonna come near the end, I guess. Like a 33 candle, oh, sorry, 23 candles, you know. In the end, you failed.
Or maybe I'm just a servant who's like going out, like, you know, putting on the candles. Although I don't know why I put on candles. What if I put... Uh, this was the last candle I had to put on to release the beast from the cage? That's the lore? Don't worry, someone will make a 20 hour video about the game. They'll be like, do you see this pixel? This pixel has a face on it, which means uh, this is Mario's world, which means every single servant got transformed into a piece of rock. I... Uh, I can't find the... Oh, there it is! Somewhere! Oh, you little bitch! Um... Did you? Um... Oh... Um, why are there some sexy furries here? Oh, what? You're gonna be the lion guy that eats me out? Okay. Um, I'm sure you feel that way. Oh, I'm gonna faint out of furries. Um... What? Um... Okay. Um... Okay. Um... Um... Snowy Castle! Um, bye! Okay, let me Google this game. Snowy Castle by Donut Cove. Um... Um, apparently there's also a Donut Cove collection. That's hilarious. This guy has his own collection. And, um, that's about it. Um, I can't find anything about them. Do they even have an Ichio page? Okay, let me, let me Google Donut Cove. That's about it. Donut Cove. Um, okay, I can't find anything about this guy. Um, I can't find their Ichio page or whatever. I literally can't even find the developer of this game, so... I don't know what happened. I guess their parents found out they were making games and started beating them. They were like, don't stop making games, go and become a doctor or something. <laughs> um, okay. Well, G2G, thank you so much, Donut, for that.